Another day and it's all about the kaku. It's all about the kaku, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right, all right. Here we go back again on the other side of the coin. All right, welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. Another day, another miserable situation with Lukaku, these rumours, these... Just the mentality of the player is so poor. Um, I need him gone. I need him gone. I need Chelsea to find a solution ASAP. This guy wants to leave. There's no doubt about that. He's desperate to leave Chelsea. There is absolutely zero doubts about this right now. And... Um, we need to find a solution. Uh, yeah, we need to cover ourselves financially and uh, make sure that we recoup something back. Obviously, we're going to make some sort of loss. But but this guy, this guy has to go down as one of the worst signings. I mean, talk about this whole hype about look who's back, Lukaku back, this, that, the other. What a shameful situation. Um, he's, he was compared to Didier Drogba. Oh, my God. God forbid. Seriously. Yeah, honestly, um, what a sinful act from the fan base. Nowhere near to mention Didier Drogba and Lukaku in the one sentence. That's, uh, you know, foul, foul. I'm very, very sorry. Uh, let's have a look at some of these news that's been going around. It's all about Romelu Lukaku. There's bits and pieces about Dembele and Kunde, which I want to clarify in regards to some social warfare that's happening, uh, H crimes and, you know, uh, PYS and whatnot. Obviously, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that. This is what I don't always like to, you know, um, in fact, I've never, uh, you know, reported on what H. Grime says because at the end of the day, she's not really, she's not really a new style of an account. She, she, she's like a, more, more like a, just a freelancer type, do you know what I mean? She'll just, she, she, it's, she's not a journalist and uh, nor, nor is PYS, but at least PYS and people like Simon Phillips, Absolute Chelsea, they're, they're news-based accounts. Yeah, they have their own opinions as well, but they, they grab news from T1 sources, T2 sources at max. Whereas Grimes, I feel like sometimes just... There, there's a lot of you know examples out there that PYS has showcased as well. Go and check that out. But let's talk about Romelu Lukaku first up, ladies and gentlemen. Romelu Lukaku wants to quit Chelsea. Chelsea will demand 20 million loan fee and an option to buy, which covers the remaining fee they bought him for. Chelsea will consider a deal if it works for them. There's been talks recently that Romelu Lukaku is now actually entertaining this thought uh, and desperately wanting to come out of Chelsea is because he believes Inter Milan can do this deal. So someone from Inter internally must have tapped up on him and his agents and his camp and said that, look, we could possibly do something. So, and this is why Romelu Lukaku is keen to, to get this done. This is why in recently, when asked by an, uh, you know, journalist, uh, Spanish journal or Italian journalist, whether he's going to come back to Inter Milan, he said, I can't speak on the matter. If he was very, very keen on Chelsea, he would have straight away said, no, I'm not leaving Chelsea. He's not, he's not keen. He's never been keen. Uh, on Chelsea, that's the thing. This this particular situation just happened. Uh, it really shouldn't have happened. This whole um, you know transfer to Chelsea. But look, twenty million loan fee and option to buy, which covers the remain. If that's the case, hundred percent, I will take that. Romelu Lukaku's Sky Italia interview did not go down with Thomas Tuchel. It hurt them more the fact that Lukaku said he had unfinished business uh, at Chelsea. As much as you know, Thomas Tuchel covered that whole situation so well during that time. Of course, it would have hurt. It hurt us. It hurt the players. I'm not surprised that it, it, it didn't go down well um, with the entire Chelsea camp. Romelu Lukaku replied with, I can't speak in answer to a question about Inter from an Italian reporter. Lukaku's people haven't heard Chelsea's stance yet. Um, I, I really want Chelsea to come out uh, very, very soon and give their stance on Lukaku's situation. And I hope that stance is, you can leave. And we'll start the negotiations with Inter Milan. I hope that happens very, very soon. According to Correa dello Sport, Lukaku told Inter that he'd take care of convincing Chelsea to release him on loan this summer, informing them during the meeting between Narazuri uh, uh, CEO, Bape Morata, and Sebastian Lidl, his agent. Look, his agent was in Inter Milan in recent times. So you know something's happening. You know Inter and Lukaku's camp have, are cooking something and they could possibly make this happen. And now, you know, Lukaku wants to sit down with Chelsea and, and, try, and convince, try and convince us 
to let him go. You don't need to convince me. You can go. You can go, but we need some sort of compensation. Uh, you know, you've you've damaged us. The fact that we can't take this guy to 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 um, you know, to court, he's he's really damaged our rep <coughs> reputation. He shouldn't have done that, really. If Barcelona can't afford a deal for Robert Lewandowski, Chelsea have been touted as the leaders in the race. And if Lukaku was to head to Bayern, then it would essentially act as a straight swap. Now, this is something that's brewing as well, ladies and gentlemen. Barcelona are in the mud. There's a tweet out from Juan Laporte, I think uh, that's the guy. Let me, let me have a look, quick look. Someone DM me this um, not that long ago. Uh, do, 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 where we got over here? Yeah, Juan Laporta wants all the players in Barcelona squad to lower their salaries by 50%. Shout out to Smoke Signals who sent that to me. Yeah, I've, I've reported this not that long ago. Barcelona's in the mud financially. How are they going to do some of their deals? I'm even worried about Christensen now. Forget, forget about Aspilicueta and Alonso. Those deals are not completely done yet um, and they could be up in the air. But Barcelona with the financial issues, not sure if they can get Robert Lewandowski which then means there could be a scenario for Lukaku and Robert Lewandowski. So we've got Lukaku and Inter Milan. Yeah, that seems like Lukaku's number one destination. But as you guys remember from his infamous interview, he's quite okay to go to Bayern Munich as well. So look, this works good for us because we can get Lewandowski. And I really want Chelsea to explore this. Um, I couldn't care less about Lukaku. We, we just shift him towards Bayern Munich. I'm pretty sure he'd be keen to go there. Lukaku doesn't care about teams. He's, he's all about the money. He's all about this hype. And uh, look at what look at what um, Bayern Munich um, legend Lothar Mateus is saying as well. I would sign Romelu Lukaku if a deal was economically feasible. Lukaku and Mane for Lewandowski and Napri. If Serge were to leave the club that would have quality and charisma with this attack, Bayern wouldn't have to hide from any team. So they're keen. They're keen. So we need to make sure we explore this Bayern Munich situation as well. Belgian manager Roberto Martinez. I haven't spoken to Romelu uh look up about his future but he will handle the situation well because it is not the first time it has happened to him in his career that in itself is a worry that this situation with Romelu Lukaku this constant you know drama all the time that seems to float around with him seems to happen on a occasion you know on a regular basis and Roberto Martinez the the Belgian manager seems to be quite okay with this I mean it's mad it's mad and I hope Lukaku does take care of it this is from the score, uh, but it's a quote from Simon Phillips and his articles. It looks clear Lukaku does want to return to Inter this summer. Last week, we were briefed Lukaku wants to stay at Chelsea. The direction now has drastically changed. This is because Lukaku has got confidence Inter can pull off uh, the deal. So this is why I said Lukaku rumours um, to Inter Milan are gaining speed because he believes Inter can do this. This is from Alex Goldberg, absolutely you know, encapsulate exactly how we all feel. Rom doesn't want to be at Chelsea, nor, uh, not sure if he ever really did. I think he just liked the idea of it, getting the warm welcome, the incoming home, uh, the his coming home, shouts, the high profile move, etc. Respectfully, I want him gone, 100%. I think it was all about the hype. It was all about, yeah, the whole situation. It just seemed so nice, but he never was interested at Chelsea. He never was. Bex, this is what uh, she tweeted out, a very good account on um, Chelsea Football Twitter. Um, th this is a very nice tweet. Have a look at, have a look at this. Uh, it's, it's a clip from uh, Romelu Lukaku when he first joined us, Chelsea.com. Uh, and it goes something like this, Lukaku and Tuchel, if he, if he wants me to be the focal point or if he wants me to attack the space in behind, I can do it. The two years in Italy helped me master all the facets of the game for a striker, and now I'm ready. Like, literally, Lukaku said this, and look at what Beck said. Man basically lied on his job application. Everybody involved in this deal is to blame the board, Lukaku took it, but don't elevate him from his role in this, same, uh, in this signing. It's mad. It really is mad. Okay, let's now talk about a couple of the other news about Dembele and Kunde. Uh, something that H. Graham said yesterday that, oh, you know, Osman Dembele is already signed. He's going to be a Chelsea player, this, that, the other. It's a done deal. This is what Adam Newson uh, from Football.London has said. Adam Newson, is, his credibility is quite high up there. And Football.London, they they don't talk rubbish. Um, generally, they don't talk rubbish. There are a few times where it's a bit iffy, but most of the times uh, it's, it's good stuff. Chelsea have held talks with Osman Dembele. 
However, no contracts has been agreed yet. Adam Newsom. So all the stuff that H. Grimes said, this is why I don't like, you know, talking about what H. Grimes is saying. I only did that yesterday. It's because I wanted Osman Dembele to come to Chelsea and I fell for the, uh, felt, I mean, you know, I want to get in on the hype, I suppose. But the truth of the matter is, apparently, this is the case. Chelsea have held talks with Osman Dembele. However, no contract has been agreed yet. So that's the case. Let's see what else is being said over here. Jules Kunde is expected to sign, but Chelsea haven't made a formal offer to Sevilla yet. I, I don't know what we're waiting for. Look, this guy is literally loitering around in Chelsea, in London. What are we waiting? We, our sanctions are removed. We've got the new owners. Why aren't we putting an official offer to Sevilla? Sevilla needs to balance their books by the end of June. So they need a quick deal as well. What are we actually waiting with Jules Kunde? Let's get this done. Honestly, let's not dilly-dally around. This is not the window to dilly-dally around. We did that last summer, and it didn't go down well. Let's get our signings done and dusted immediately. I'm, I'm seriously not sure what we're waiting on from that perspective. As expected regarding uh, Dembele, nothing agreed yet with Chelsea. Don't listen to anyone trying to jump the gun and claim they was the first on transfer. Look, as, as, as far as I've said recently in my last stream, it's most likely Dembele will happen, but nothing has really been agreed as yet. Um, it's progressing towards that particular situation, and I hope we, we get that done. But Grimes saying that it's all signed, it's all agreed, it's a done deal, we need to calm down. We need to calm down. There's a lot more steps before all of that happens. Another quote from Simon Phillips in regards to Thomas Tuchel and Dembele. One of the priority targets for Tuchel is Osman Dembele. I checked in with source close to Barcelona and the player's agent. They tell me that no decision has been made yet, but they are getting a real sense it is Dembele's desire to head to Chelsea. So the, the vibe, the direction, everything seems to be perfect in regards to Dembele wanting to join Chelsea, but it is not official as yet. So we need to calm down. Okay. Now, last but not least, a little bit of news about Marina Granovskaya. Senior Premier League sources are expecting Marina Granovskaya to issue a rare formal statement in the near future regarding her position at Chelsea director, as Chelsea director. New owners are preparing major staff changes, including new CEO and sporting director. I would love that. Generally, uh, there are, you know, clubs, you know, Real Madrid have a chairman. There are many clubs out there who've got chairmen. And because we've, we are going to be run by a consortium and Tom Bowley will overlook all that, it's very, very natural that we could have a CEO who runs it at the end, obviously, getting all the information from Tom Bowley and Clear Lake Capital um, and then obviously relaying that on and then having a sporting director, very, very important. Andrea uh, Berta, uh, the Atletico Madrid, fellow that's been um, you know named and there was some really really good list of transfers that he's done uh, do check out my recent stream where i've uh, outlined that so look i'm all up for that i've already mentioned this that you know a fresh start a fresh you know feeling in the in the in the club is necessary and um yeah thank marina for all the services and overlook this initial stage but later on i think we need to have a fresh fresh look ladies and gentlemen that pretty much covers everything that we um you know that was reported in the past 12 to 24 hours in regards to chelsea transfers lukaku being the biggest news too much drama let me know how you feel about it ladies and gentlemen honestly we need to get rid of this player hope you've enjoyed this smash the like button if you're here for the first time subscribe hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content till next time See ya.